Hi, this is a video about arrow securities in the binary model. So here you have a stock with price S. Now there's an upstate and a downstate in the binary model. So the S either goes up to SU or down to SD. So SU is greater than S and SD is less than S. Um, the stock starts at time zero and ends at time capital T. So now we can kind of come up with a um, kind of an idea called arrow securities. So here we have pi sub u, um, which you can think of as like an upstate arrow security. You do well in the upstate. This is pi sub d, where you do well in the downstate. So we can think about it in a similar way to the stock. In the upstate, so at the same time as the stock goes to s sub u, this security goes up to 1. The downstate one goes up to 0. So this does poor in the upstate. Now in the downstate, when the stock goes to S sub D, um, the upstate security goes to zero, and the downstate arrow security goes to one. So really we can come up with this equation where the price of the stock is actually equivalent to um, kind of an average of um, upstate securities and downstate securities, because if we have S sub U, upstate securities, then S sub U times 1 will give us S sub U. So then we'd have a situation where we get S sub U in the upstate at 0 in the downstate. But then if we add um, the S sub D downstate securities, then we'll come up with the same exact model as the original stock. So we know that the price of this meant of S sub U um, upstate securities and S sub D downstate securities is equivalent to the price of the stock because otherwise there would be an arbitrage opportunity. So um, as you, this kind of just gives you an example of how you can combine these arrow securities to come up with um, some other types of securities. So later we'll expand this for how we can price call options and just general securities. So What's important is we want to figure out how to price these arrow securities because if we'll be able to price them, then we'll be able to price these other securities that are combinations of arrow securities later on. So let's think of a situation where you invest X dollars in stock and Y dollars in the risk-free asset. So if we want to try to price pi sub u, which is the upstate arrow security, we can come up with an upstate equation and downstate equation. So remember, in the upstate, pi sub u gets 1, and in the downstate, it gets 0. So we see in the upstate equation, we get 1, and we get 0 in the downstate equation. So now we just have to figure out how um, to kind of set this up. So let's think about the upstate first. In the upstate, we want to buy x divided by s units of stock, because if we're investing x dollars in stock, a stock costs s dollars. So, I mean, consider if, if x was s, then you would buy one stock. So that's why it's x divided by s. So that's the amount of units of stock you get. And then in the upstate, we know the stock goes up to s sub u. So we would have s sub u times the amount of stocks we have. And then we have to add how many dollars we would get from a risk-free asset. So if we're investing Y in the risk-free asset, um, the risk-free asset always appreciates by this multiple e to the RT power. So, so in the upstate, we will get this many dollars. And we want that to equal to 1, because that's what we would get for, the, um, for pi sub u, for the upstate arrow security. So we set these equations up. And we can solve for y and x, because y and x are the only variables in this equation. Everything else is a constant. So then if we add y and x, remember y and x are dollars. So, And we're trying to replicate the upstate security. So if we add the dollar cost that we invest in the risk-free asset with the dollar cost we invest in the stock, then we get the price of the upstate security. And the, the math was already done, and this is kind of the equation we get. So we did the same exact thing, and we can come up with the price of the downstate security. The same exact thing, meaning um, in the downstate security, it's 0 and 1. So we would have to change these numbers to 0 and 1.
And that, that's the equation you get. So now we can go back to that idea we were talking about before a little bit of how you can combine these arrow securities to get other securities. So we saw the example with stock, um, but really, if you think of any security, you can do the same thing because it's just one in the up state and one in the down state. So you could do combinations of both of these to come up with any security.